In this example, our goal is to create an information link which queries a database. Throughout the demonstration, we will refer to the user as the person who will use the information link prompts. Bear in mind that the user may be another Spotfire user who is interacting with your analysis in the full TIBCO Spotfire professional client or the browser-based TIBCO Spotfire web player client. Of course, that user may also be you. We will initiate this demonstration with the assumption that our Spotfire data administrator has already set up a data source on our Spotfire server and has taken the appropriate steps to create the column elements we will require for our query. In order to access this information model, we will go to Tools, Information Designer. Because our Spotfire data administrator has already set up the data source and created the requisite column elements, we can proceed directly to the process of creating an information link. The first step of the process will be to select the columns we wish to include in this query. From this list of column elements, which were provided by our data administrator, we can select only those which are required for our specific analysis purposes. Then, we can sort those columns such that their default order in the Filters panel, Table Visualization, Property Selectors, and other dialogues will suit our needs. If we were to save this information link with the current settings, all rows of data from the database would be loaded into Spotfire's in-memory data engine for analysis. However, we wish to limit the rows queried based upon certain selections, so we will expand the Prompt section and add the first column we wish to use for that selection criteria. We will choose Region and click OK. Region is a string data type, and there are four regions in our database. Therefore, Range is not an appropriate prompt type. We could select Values. However, this would require that the users know those four region values and can type them exactly as they appear in the database. Multiple selection and single selection, on the other hand, will present a list of values from which the user may select, avoiding the requirement for the user to have an intimate knowledge of the database values and circumventing the potential issue for typographical errors. Multiple selection will allow the user to select one or more values from the list, while single selection will restrict the user selection to only one of the listed values. We will configure this prompt to allow only a single selection. Let's add another prompt for the column, State. For this prompt, we will allow the user to select multiple values. Because the region prompt will be presented first, the list of states will be restricted to those which are available in the selected region. While this is the behavior we desire, if we wanted to create prompts which are independent of one another, we could click the Groups button and assign region to a different group. In this example, we would like all prompts to be dependent, so we will leave them assigned to the same group and click OK. Let's add one more prompt, which allows us to limit the query based upon the values in the My Share change from Q3 to Q4 column. This will be a range prompt type. Note that the range prompt type does not provide information about the range of values in the selected column. The user must know what values constitute reasonable lower limit and upper limit values for this query. Note that we do have the ability to make the selection in any given prompt mandatory. If we leave the mandatory settings for the prompt as they currently exist, the user will have to select a value or values for the state prompt. However, they do not have to enter a range when prompted for the share change between Q3 and Q4. Leaving these fields empty will not limit the query based upon the share change. Instead, the query will be limited to only the selected region and states. We can save this information link to an appropriate folder within the Spotfire library directory structure with a meaningful name. And we will type a description which indicates that this information link will provide prompts before querying the PharmaSales database and click Save. We will close the Information Designer and go to the Add Data section of this empty Spotfire welcome page. We can click Open from Library in order to access that information link. You can see the information link and the description we typed. When we click on that information link, this panel provides additional details about the information link, like the columns to be queried and the columns for which prompts will be presented. When we click Open, the first prompt is presented. We will select Northeast and click Next. Note that the states displayed are limited to only those which exist in the Northeast region. Let's choose Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire and click Next. Because we happen to know that my share change values range between negative 100 and 100, we can type reasonable limits like negative 50 as a lower limit and 50 as an upper limit. 
When we click Finish, the database is queried according to the criteria provided in our prompt responses, and a data table is loaded into Spotfire's in-memory data engine. We can evaluate the resulting data table by examining the filters in the Filters panel, as each filter corresponds to a column of data in the underlying data table. You can see that the only region is Northeast, the state values correspond to our three selected states, and the range of my share change values are within the range of the lower and upper limits we entered. You can see the impact of our query criteria on the other columns included in the information link, and note that these query conditions resulted in 186 rows of data being imported from the PharmaSales database. In addition to the default visualization, we could insert other visualizations and configure these visualizations to serve as a quick reference dashboard. Rather than having you watch me configure this page to suit our visual analysis needs, I will employ a little video editing magic to skip forward to this configured state of the analysis. If we save this analysis, we are also saving our responses to the information link prompts. Note that the analysis document is linked to the database source. Therefore, when we close the analysis and reopen, our prompt responses are reapplied, and the data from the PharmaSales database, which now meets that criteria, is queried. If any changes to the database had occurred since we last opened the file, they would be reflected in these query results. Notice that although the data was requeried from the database, our prompts were not presented. If you would like for the prompts to be presented each time the database is queried, you will need to take an extra step in the configuration of this analysis document by going to Edit, Data Table Properties, and check this box. With this box checked, each time we reopen the analysis, reload the data, or refresh the data in this data table, we will be presented with prompts. So we can click OK, save these changes, close the analysis, and reopen the analysis. Upon reopening, we can choose a different region like Southeast, choose Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, and Tennessee, and clear the lower limit value and type zero as the upper limit. When these query criteria are submitted, the change in the visualizations is a quick indication that the values in the data table have changed. We can confirm this with a quick review of the filters panel, and notice that the status bar shows that we are currently analyzing 329 rows of data. If we wanted to analyze the share change values which increased rather than decreased, we could save the analysis. Then, instead of closing and reopening, we could simply click on the Reload Data icon. We will leave prompts 1 and 2 with the same settings, but type 0 for the lower limit and leave the upper limit value blank. You can see the impact on the visualizations, filters, and status bar, which shows we are now analyzing 262 rows of data. If we elect to save a copy of this analysis as a library item, when the analysis is accessed by a web player user, they must first respond to the prompts in order to select the data from our PharmaSales database, which they would like to evaluate. They may wish to analyze data from the Southeast region and select North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia and leave both the low and high values blank in order to query the entire available range from the selected states. The resulting dashboard view presents the 251 rows of data that this particular web player user elected to analyze. Of course, a different web player user may respond to the prompts differently, so they can analyze a different subset of data from the PharmaSales database.